Um, hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Before I talk to you about the prophecy of Isaiah 9, 6 and what it says about the coming Messiah, I want to first encourage you to go down to the comment section of any of my videos. For example, this video that I uploaded titled, I saw God and this is what he said. If you go down to the comment section, you'll see that I've uploaded a long comment with evidence for Christianity. So I want you guys to see that if you're a skeptic and or if you're not a Christian, I want you guys to read the evidence I present and examine it. If you're a Christian, I also want you to read the evidence, but I also want you guys to spread this. So if you have a YouTube channel, feel free to copy paste this and post it in the comment section of your videos. Or if you don't have a YouTube channel, you can print this out and give it to people. You can post it on social media, do with it as you please. And also in the description box of my videos, I have a message about the end times that I want you guys to see. It talks about fulfilled pro prophecies and that sort of stuff. So please read that also. Now getting on to the prophecy of Isaiah 9, 6. So this is one of the over 300 prophecies that Jesus Christ fulfilled in his short time on earth. And that's even more evidence that Jesus is the Jewish Messiah because of all the prophecies that he fulfilled. I think the most impressive one from the Bible is, is Isaiah 53 where it talks about that the Messiah will be killed. But we'll get, we, I, I also made a video about this. It's titled Jews, Isaiah 53 prophesied that the Messiah will be killed for our sins. So you can check that out when you're done watching this video. I'll include a link to that in the description. But yeah, let's read Isaiah 9, 6. It says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be on his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. So the Bible, or the Old Testament, which is the Jewish Bible, um, could not have made it any clearer for us. It, it, it just it says that the Messiah will be God himself. Look, and his name shall be called the Mighty God. The Mighty God. And remember, this prophecy from the book of Isaiah, this was written over around 700 years before Jesus was even, even born. That's more evidence for Christianity because because all the prophecies that have been fulfilled and since we have the Dead Sea Scrolls we can prove that Jesus Christ is the Messiah and the Bible is inspired by God because the Bible has told the future time and time again and for example Isaiah 53 just even if you go to a skeptic just say okay look I'm gonna read a verse from the Bible for, for you okay and just say um, and say I want you to guess who this verse is talking about so read, surely he had borne our griefs and ca carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. So this is talking about how the Messiah will be killed. And if you ask a person, um, what is this talking about? They're going to be, oh, that's talking about Jesus. So, and you tell him, okay, this is talking about Jesus. Remember, this was written 700 years before Jesus was born. And the book of Daniel actually gave us a year as to when the prophecy, when, when the Messiah would be born. I'll make a video about that in the future. So this is one way you can prove to a skeptic that Christianity is true because of all the fulfilled prophecies. But this is just one of them. And since we have the Dead Sea Scroll, we have evidence that we have manuscripts of the book of Isaiah that date back to even 200 years before the Messiah was even born that you can prove to someone that look Jesus is the Jewish Messiah and the Bible is from God and not only this Jesus Christ in a short time on earth he fulfilled over 300 prophecies and if I were to make a and you can see some of the prophecies here but if I were to make a video about each prophecy that Jesus fulfilled I mean it it would take me about a year and if I were just to go and make a video about each prophecy, it would it would take me about a year, over three hundred days to over three hundred days to make a video about each one. And not not only this, I want to um, encourage you guys to uh, check out the One for Israel channel. It's about uh, it has testimonies of how um, Jewish brothers and sisters in Christ came to know the Messiah, whether it was through supernatural revelation like visions or whether they read the prophecy of Isaiah 53 which talks about that the Messiah will be killed and for, for our sins 
and they have a lot of great content and I'll include a link to this wonderful channel in the description box of my video and since I've seen Jesus Christ myself through open vision and not only once I've seen Jesus Christ multiple times I'll include a link to my testimonies in the description box but one of the one of the one of the visions that he blessed me with where he revealed himself to me I I uploaded that on my channel the testimony of it is titled I saw God and this is what he said I'll include a link in the description box check that out if you're interested so this is what I want to talk to you about and and if you're Jewish and you don't believe in Jesus I mean Jesus Christ is all over the Jewish Bible the Old Testament and he's all over it he was prophesied in it over 300 times and you cannot possibly I mean how could you possibly read Isaiah 53 which says the Messiah will be killed for our sins and not believe in Jesus so if you're G if you're Jewish I want to encourage you to give Jesus a chance he is my Messiah he's your Messiah he's the Jewish Messiah that's what I want to talk to you about guys today about thanks for listening and all glory to God